I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question from one of our subscribers. I hope the solution of this question will help many others. So let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching the videos, posting excellent suggestions and beautiful questions. We need to determine limit as x approaches infinity for log of greatest integer x divided by x. So this symbol here means greatest integer. We'll talk about this also and then uh, we'll answer the question. Four choices are given to us. Now how do we solve such a question? Let us first understand the greatest integer just in a minute. That basically means that if I have <coughs> let's say 1.2 then that is equal to the greatest integer value is the integer here which is 1 correct so the graph of this will be kind of like this this is open hole right so so at 1 the value will be 1 1.2 will also be 1 but as soon as it reaches 2 then the value jumps to 2 like this correct so that's the greatest integer function we need to find the limit of this function as x approaches infinitely large value. Now clearly what we notice here is that the limit as x approaches infinity for log of greatest integer function over x. If I substitute limit infinity here then we get infinitely large value over infinitely large value. Now this is an indeterminate, right? Now to solve such limit questions, we will normally use L'Hopital's rule. So I hope most of you are familiar with this. So in this case, we could use L'Hopital's rule. That is to say, we can find derivative of numerator and denominator and then find the limit. So we could write this as equal to limit when x approaches infinitely large value for derivative of log of x. Now, that is equal to, this is to the base 10. So we, when we normally write like this, it is to the base 10. So the derivative of this function is 1 over x times ln 10 right and the derivative of x which is in the denominator is just 1 now what do we get we get this as equal to limit when x approaches infinitely large value of 1 over x times ln 10 now if i substitute x as very large value what do i get i get 0 correct so therefore option a is the right option. So that is how we could actually solve such a question. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. Thanks for watching and all the best.